Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial, we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au Our video presentation will focus on the restoration of data using the Shadow Protect product. This is the second part of a series on the Shadow Protect product on Small Business Server 2003. To restore data, we simply need to locate our images from which we can then mount as a drive and simply copy and paste files in the Windows interface. So my Shadow Protect images are located on external USB drive, currently drive G. As you can see, I have full backups for the C, D and E volumes, as well as incrementals for the same volumes. If I want to restore a file from the incremental last incremental on E, I simply right mouse click on that Shadow Protect file and select Mount. A wizard now appears and steps me through the process. Because I save my image of the data using a password. I am prompted to enter that same password. This is best practice to ensure that your data remains secure. Once I have entered that password, it then gives me some information about the image that I'm going to mount. I simply click on next to continue. As you can see, this being an incremental, it is dependent on a previous full backup, which is already selected. So Shadow Protect is smart enough to know that if you want to restore information from the incremental, you're also going to need to have access to the previous full backup. This is correct, so I select next to continue. I'm going to mount it as drive H, and I'm going to mount it as read only. So therefore, I cannot make any changes to the information on that volume. I select next and then finish. You will now see that my machine indicates that I have a drive, a data drive H. This data drive H is now a mounted image of the backup, the incremental backup that I performed. To restore any files from here, I can simply go into that directory copy and then paste the original file back to wherever I wanted it. It is now a simple process to mount these volumes from incrementals taken throughout the day that your users can restore files from if wanted to in the knowledge that they are read only. To dismount a drive simply right mouse click on it and select dismount and follow through the wizard to complete. The drive is no longer available. The other way that information can be restored using Shadow Protect is via booting up the Shadow Protect PC when the machine loads. If we boot the machine with the storage craft CD inserted, we are, prevented, we are presented with a number of boot selections. Since we're working on a SBS 2003 server, we're going to select to start storage craft recovery environment in XP and 2003. Once we've selected this, we'll see that the Shadowcraft CD boots the workstation we are presented with an option to load additional drivers hitting the typical F6 key if required as the storage craft environment loads. During the boot process of Shadow Protect, you'll be asked whether you want to start networking. 
hit OK to commence the generic networking that is incorporated in the Shadow Protect product. This allows you to map to resources across a network using TCP IP protocols. Once Shadow Protect is loaded, you will see an interface that looks very similar to the graphical interface you saw under Windows. You are presented with wizards which allow you to do a backup and restore. Again, you can look at your disk map which will lay out the disk configuration that Shadow Protect can see. As you can see on my server, I can see the normal C, D and E. And also my external hard disk from which I'm going to restore. So to restore some information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore the whole of my E volume. I simply select the restore wizard. This now brings up the wizard. I select next to continue. I now have to locate the images. The images are located on the external hard disk, which I can now browse to. As you can see, I can locate my images. I'm going to restore the complete E volume back to the previous last incremental. So I select the last incremental file and go open. Again, because it's password protected, it asks me for the password prior to doing any restoration. This again looks very similar to our previous mounting example under Windows. It guides me with information about the incremental backup volume, I select next to continue. It now asks me where I wish to restore this information. I want to restore this obviously back into the E partition. Select next to continue. I select that I want it to go back to my data volume. Again, this is why it's always good practice to label your disk volume so that you know exactly what it contains. Select next to continue. I can choose here to select the partition active to restore the master boot record, the hidden track information and if I'm restoring to different hardware Shadow Protect also allows you to do a hardware independent restore. But in this case I'm simply going to restore to a data volume. I don't need to restore a boot volume so none of these options are valid. I select next and I select finish to commence the restore. And given an update and a progress of the restoration process, if I wanted to look at the details, which is always a good option, so you can see exactly what's going on, simply select the details. And again, you'll see the low level information displayed here as my volume is being restored. The advantage with restoring information or a whole volume this way is that you know that there will be no conflicts with open files or system files. Booting into the Shadowcraft recovery environment allows you to restore a server very quickly and very easily without the necessary requirements for loading windows, cataloging a backup tape and whatnot. Shadow Protect allows you to restore from an image very quickly and very simply, whether that image be on a local external USB hard disk or stored somewhere across the network. Because again, Shadow Protect has the availability to configuration on a network that would allow you to recover from things like network area storage devices. As you can see, restoration of my data volume is now complete and I am presented with the fact that there are no errors. If I now reboot the machine it will come up normally with my data restored exactly as is. This has been another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. If you have any, con any questions please feel free to contact us at www dot dot com dot au. Once again, thank you for watching.